Welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. We are getting ready to make the most delicious candied sweet potatoes that you'll ever have. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Come with me and I'll show you what to do. Now these are going to be cooked on the stove top. First you want to go in and peel your sweet potatoes. I'm old school so I'm using a paring knife. But you can feel free to use a potato peeler if you feel that's what works best for you. We are definitely cooking these on the stove top because you cannot can in the oven. I actually have three or four medium potatoes here because I couldn't find the large ones. But if you can find the large ones, just get a couple. Now I will have all the ingredients to the complete recipe in the description. So I'm going to get these peeled up and we'll be right back. Now we're just going to slice them up. I've got them all peeled and washed and as you see they are a nice reddish color. That's because these are sweet potatoes. They are not yams. Yes, there is a difference between yams and sweet potatoes. Yams have a rough dark skin. It's often like a tree bark or at least compared to it. And also their flesh is dry and starchy just like a regular potato. But sweet potatoes, they have a smooth skin on the outside with a reddish tone to it. And the flesh, it's softer and sweeter when cooked. So we're going to get these all sliced up. You can do yours any way you want, but I like mine just about this size. You can slice yours however you want. <music> So the first thing we're going to do is go in with a little water. You only need two to three tablespoons of water. That's it. Make sure your pot is on medium low. Then go in and put your potatoes down in the bottom. Just half of the potatoes. We're going to make this in layers because we're not going to be moving it around and doing a lot of stirring. So we need our flavors to be in layers. So just put about half of your potatoes down in the bottom. The only thing that water is going to do is to prevent your potatoes from actually sticking to your pot. So then go in with your brown sugar, just half of it, and half of your white sugar. We're going to put our cinnamon and other ingredients on the top of this. You want to sprinkle in just a little bit of salt as well. Now on top of here, go ahead and put the rest of your potatoes in there. Make sure you cook this on medium low because if not, your potatoes will burn. We don't want burnt potatoes. Sprinkle in the rest of your brown sugar, white sugar. Go in with your cinnamon. And now a lot of people like to use nutmeg and things like that, but I'm not a fan of nutmeg. So I add just a sprinkle of cloves in there. You also want to go in with just a cap full of lemon juice. Give it a little acidity. Don't forget to add your salt on that top layer. Now I'm also going in with a little brandy because I think the flavor is amazing. You can leave that out if you do. Then add just a couple of teaspoons of uh, vanilla. I am going in with some vanilla extract as well. You can hear it starting to cook already. Now we're going to put a top on it, but do not cover it all the way. You need that steam to escape. So make sure your pot is cracked just like that. Give it a good little crack. Now, we're going to leave this here for about 10, 10, 15 minutes. Then we'll be back. Now, now take the top off. And as you can see, they're bubbling up. You just want to take this top layer and turn them over so they can get down into the syrup as well. Don't stir from the bottom. Just turn in this top layer over so they can get all cooked on both sides. We're going to let this cook for another 10 or 15 minutes and let it get nice and thick. Then we'll be back for our last ingredient. Remove it from the heat. Make sure you take it completely off the heat. Now we're going to go in with that special touch and everything is better with butter. So you just want to take some slices of butter and sit it right in your pan just like that. Just sit it in there. We're going to put the top back on it this time completely and let this butter melt. Oh my goodness, delicious. We're going to plate this up and give it a taste. Mm -hmm. 
delicious. If you enjoyed this video, please share it out with family and friends, and I will see you next time. The good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs>